the longer this conflict continues, the greater the risk that miscalculation or purposeful escalation draws the United States into direct conflict with Russia. Russia's military may have a bloody nose, but Moscow still maintains the largest nuclear arsenal in the world. Let's not pretend that the U.S. involvement in this war comes without risks. If that's not bad enough, we lack effective oversight mechanisms to ensure that the hard-earned American tax dollars don't fall prey to waste, fraud, and abuse. For over a year now, I have been asking for a special inspector general to make sure they're not stealing our money. We've had one in Afghanistan, and, he is, and his team of economists and technicians have overseen and found billions of dollars worth of waste that they've saved. We need the same thing in Ukraine, a special inspector general to make sure they're not stealing our money. When that has come before a vote in the Senate, the majority party in here says, no, we just want to spend the money. We don't care. Some Republicans have gone along with this as well, and they have voted against an inspector general. It is a terrible abuse of our spending authority to spend money overseas in a war and not make sure that they're not stealing it. So in addition to the colossal cost of the war, we end up paying a corruption tax. Ukraine is one of the most corrupt countries on the planet maybe second only to Russia. Corruption runs deep in Ukraine, and there's plenty of evidence that it has run rampant since Russia's invasion. As President Zelensky landed in New York earlier this week, we learned that corruption concerns in Ukraine's Ministry of Defense resulted in the firing of six deputy defense ministers. This comes two weeks after the firing of Defense Minister Oleksiy Reznikov, who was removed after it was discovered that the Ministry of Defense had mishandled military contracts. Last month, Zelensky fired all 24 regional military recruitment chiefs because they were, quote, involved in illegal activities, including enrichment. Last October, we learned that U.S. shipment of grenade launchers, machine guns, rifles, bulletproof vests, and thousands of rounds of ammunition were ending up in the hands of criminal gangs and weapons traffickers posing as humanitarian organizations. And what did the Senate do? They voted against a special inspector general to make sure they're not stealing our money. What are we doing? Is this fair to the American people? Millions of Americans are struggling each day to make ends meet.